Aloha, I'm Dave Chen. I'm the paddle designer at Kilo Paddles. And the paddle I'm gonna speak about is the biscuit. One of the things about steering paddles is we only get really one chance a year to test the paddles in the open ocean channels. And that's the Molokai Hoi. Um, in 2005, um, I had a prototype for a paddle and Jim Foti um, chose to use it out in the race. Um, this is a real special thing for me, the relationship between the testers and myself, that they're gonna trust uh, my work and take it out as a prototype into a, the most important race of the year. Um, this year, it was medium conditions in 2005, and um, I got to watch a masterful race from the escort boat. Um, Jim was just incredibly focused, and he just chased down swell after swell, and, the, and the, you know, when the steersman's on it, the crew just feels so confident, and they will just go so hard for that steersman. And it was just an unbelievable race. Um, they just tore it up. Um, at the end of the race, things worked out. They won, and uh, while that was really good, the real special moment for me with this thing was that um, th after the race, they came back out, and you know, for a paddle maker to get to take the victory lap, you know, with the crew, um, that's a pretty neat thing. This paddle, because it brings up so much emotion with me, um, I kind of named it for Jim, and because of that inspired race, um, I'd seen this movie Sea Biscuit and they had this horse in it, and he's the underdog horse, and the horse has short legs, big body, and he has this gigantic heart. And I really saw that with Jim and his paddling. And so, affectionately, I named this after my friend, the Biscuit. The surface area of the Biscuit is 142 square inches. It's nine and a quarter inches wide and 20 inches tall. Um, some people say that the Biscuit doesn't look much different from the Fody. Um, but the biggest difference between the two blades is the biscuit is made to track away from the hull of the canoe. Um, this makes it better for off-hull canoe maneuvering. Um, the biscuit will stick. It, um, it's got the sticky tape on the back here, but it just doesn't stick as well as a Fodi. In small to medium conditions, experienced steers people are going to be controlling the canoe with off-hull corrections, and that's what this paddle was designed for. The blade is at five degrees. The shaft is made of triple laminated poplar. And the T-top is walnut, and it's our ergo T-shape. What type of steer should use the biscuit? Well, this paddle has been around since 2005. It is definitely an old war horse. But I think when you see a paddle last this long, it tells you something about the utilitarian nature of it. Really, this paddle is about the conditions. And when it's small to medium surf, this is an excellent choice to have in your quiver. You don't need to have the bigger Fody paddle because you're taking a lot of strokes. So if median condition water is what you are experiencing in your paddling, this is an excellent steering paddle to have. 